Living in New York, I've always found it amazing the amount of blackmail you can gather from strangers. Hey, Tony. I wonder if he's going to say try no. Anal, Tony? You promised me, Tony. Come on, Tony. Mr. George Lucas was a great director and mentor. I would always be excited every day we were on set. Uh, he always told the best jokes. Like one day we were on set and he kept saying, You're not Hindu. You're not even religious. You're just complicated the editing process of this movie, asshole. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Told the best jokes. <laughs> huh? For the last time, get your ass out on that field and don't do another one of your stupid fucking tricks. Am I clear? For 10 years, I have been a director. I've worked with hundreds of aspiring actors, and not one has made my blood boil like Jay. Every single day he'd mess up takes because he couldn't see his football Larry. And he would say, hi Mr. George Lucas, that's not even my fucking name. Everyone on the production team tried to be patient with him. Every single day we'd come to work and we'd say, alright Jay's gonna do better today. But scene after scene, tape after tape, he just fucked it all up. For example, doe I Jay once held onto his football Larry whispering, nobody's gonna throw us anymore, again and again while we were filming. Offset, he had to be watched as he played with Larry. Once he stopped, we could begin filming of his scenes. And God forbid we took Larry away, he would either act or fucking scream until Larry was put down. Never again. What's your view on the movie? This film? I think I looked great. <laughs> oh, please, fuck off. I liked it, and it was good, and it was great, and I liked it, and it made me happy, and I liked it. Y'all motherfuckers always ask me, you got crack? I could never be as high as this motherfucker right next to me. Use Zanskrin, so your skin could be as clean as mine. I once told Abraham Lincoln that I could polish way more than his hat. I saw this odd Tumblr. I had to reblog it. Have I ever been in love? Maybe, maybe not. I used to believe I was a unicorn and everyone around me wanted to steal my horn. Everything changed when I went to high school. Now all the girls want me. Here's a great story. So there I was with my buddies playing basketball, winning by 12, and this girl was just eyeing me down. And not in the way I was used to. But being the nice guy I am, I smiled back. From head to toe though, she was just frozen. I mean, she followed me home daily, she got annoyed when I called her out for having dorky glasses, but I didn't, I didn't even know a name, let alone anything other than she liked following me. So it's Halloween, a bunch of anxious birds were there, Rick Sanchez, some intestinal monsters, Miss Piggy, Resident Evil knockoffs, Pumpkinhead, Hamburger Head, Mummies, Strippers, even Spooky Scary Skeleton Man was there, with Godzilla! Hey, yeah. All across the city there were fireworks, I mean, I don't know why we had fireworks on Halloween, I mean a lot of people were stabbed during the fireworks show, and some say that 90 people died, but some of them went through the foreground, so that was kinda cool. Anyway, I think she went as Link to the party, but I decided to chase her like she chases me. It was a prank, but she was so scared. I didn't even wanna. So I turned 24 in August. That means that if I don't pass high school this year, I can't stay. And I'm walking to class and she's like, oh my god, Jay. She grabbed my shirt and that's when I told her I didn't want to be with her. But she just kind of stared at me, you know? And you could tell just by looking at her, something inside her snapped. She just went full Super Saiyan on me. She was screaming, cursing, wishing death upon me. And all I could do was stare. I mean, I couldn't tell why she was upset. It's not like we did things together. But she believed we went to the moon, you know? She believed we placed the flag on it. And there I was, realizing the horrors of the insanity and thankful I didn't stick anything inside her. Knife cutting tension sequence. Sometimes when I'm home, I listen to the last recording she made for me. It's beautiful. As I'm strolling down the end of my sea, little black faces glancing over me. Am I a ghost? Thought I scored with a wind touch. Guess I learned to never really meant the much. I feel like a ghost.
stood on a piss-scented train, I began to wonder why I wasn't into what's her face. The image, though, it slowly became clear. The reflection of myself. I loved myself. And the closest thing to myself can't be Larry or uh, her. It's gotta be the person that I can excite at 2 o'clock in the morning and have pajama parties with and play games with and cook with even though to me it's so mundane and the person that can nurse me back to health my brother my strong and handsome brother and even though he passes out before we do anything remotely fun yeah, yeah. I set up Yeah? Yeah! <clears throat> so, later. Do you want to watch your movie? About that. Come. Have I ever told you about the time that I was a unicorn flying around the planet Lazoo? No. I was bombarded by M6 agents, all by the name of Jack. But that's not the worst part. The floor came and shot laser beams at me, and... No porn. No lemonade. Nothing. Ah. Mouth-watering, creamy, and delicious. With one bite, Bailey's cake mix will soothe all the misfortunes in your life. Don't believe us? By Bailey's on salted day. Mm.